2018 Kia Rio Review. The pint-sized 2018 Kia Rio owes its high to its sporty driving dynamics and user-friendly interior. It also incorporates a lower price tag than many primary rivals. New for 2018. Fully redesigned. Pros and cons. User-friendly infotainment systems. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available. Nimble handling. Power windows and cruise control are in standard features. No available navigation system. From in the driver's seat, the 2018 Kia Rio feels desperate to get out and play. Its peppy engine pairs nicely with lively handling, thus, making this small car among the sportier options inside subcompact car segment. It does a superb job taking in jarring imperfections within the highway, however some may prefer a softer suspension within the Rio's firm ride. The Rio has an 130-horsepower 1.6-liter 4-cylinder engine. The standard transmission inside base trim is usually a 6-speed manual, will be able to upgrade to some 6-speed automatic for approximately $1,000. This automatic is standard within the up-level S and X trims. The Rio's power train is smooth and energetic, moving this small car through traffic or more hills with relative ease. Fuel economy is all about average to get a car this size, at 28 miles per gallon within the city and 37 miles per gallon traveling. The Rio is really a stable front-wheel drive car and it is steering and braking feel solid and predictable. The suspension is tuned within the sporty side, that has a stiffer quality which gives the Rio somewhat athletic handling. The Rio is among the sportier options with this segment. The ride quality is firm, and although it isn't harsh, some may prefer a softer suspension. The 430i gets an EP estimated 24 miles per gallon from the city and 34 miles per gallon on the road, that happened to be good ratings with the class. The 440i gets slightly worse ratings, earning 21 miles per gallon from the city and 32 miles per gallon traveling. There is plenty of practicality regarding the 2018 Kia Rio, including a decent quantity of cargo space pleasant passenger seating, and easy Taos technology. You'll still see hard plastics, but higher grade accents plus a clean design maintain Rio from feeling just like a penalty box. The Rio seats five people and comes standard with cloth seats as well as a six-way adjustable driver's seat. Premium cloth upholstery, leather trimmed seats, plus a 60-40 split folding back seat are offered. The seats have a very decent quantity of space both in rows, though there isn't quite enough legroom to allow for tall travelers simultaneously sitting inside the front and second row. For daycare seats, the two main sets of lower anchors and three tether anchors inside the back seat. Standard features from the 2018 Rio will include a 5-inch touchscreen display, satellite radio, a four-speaker speakers, a USB port, AC, and power door locks. The top trim level carries with it an upgraded infotainment system constructed from the Uvo infotainment interface, a 7-inch touchscreen display screen, voice recognition, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Available features include Bluetooth, Siri Eyes Free, 6 speakers, 2 additional USB ports, power windows, cruise control, keyless entry, a rear-view camera, automatic emergency braking, and forward collision warning. The standard as well as the upgraded infotainment systems are really easy to use. Though navigation just isn't available, test drivers provide enhanced UVO interface with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto 2 thumbs up. Trunk space within the 4 Series varies by body style. Convertible designs include the least volume of space, with 13.1 cubic feet, 
and coupe designs have 15.7 cubic feet. Grand coupe designs include 17 cubic feet with all the rear seats up and 45.9 cubic feet together with the rear seats folded down. The coupe and convertible have decent cargo space with the class, as well as the Grand Coupe's total is outstanding. All models feature split folding rear seats, and Grand Coupe models come that has a power trunk lid. Thank you.